So welcome back friends. I've got an exciting video for you today. Today we're going to be building something. We're going to be building a galley. And a galley is going to include a couple things. It's going to include one big drawer for pots and pans and things. It's going to include a uh, ability to hold uh, the little 12 volt refrigerator and a, a clever sideways, uh, I'll show you a, a cutting board deal to extend the, the cabinet. The cabinet's going to be 24 by 24. We're going to use a combination of I think three quarter and half inch plywood. I'm going to try some new techniques that I haven't used before, mainly pocket screws. I've heard a lot of guys talk uh, or sell, have a lot of good things to say about the Craig pocket screws um, that will all come clear here in a minute. I haven't used them. Hopefully the learning curve is not super steep, uh, but that's kind of the project. So here's the refrigerator. Let me bring you up close to tell you a little bit about this. This was the Craigslist find a long time ago. This was actually the little refrigerator that we put in our last van. If I remember correctly, I think it's one that they designed to put in uh, sleeper cabs for 18 wheelers. It's a 12 volt only, and this has been a really great refrigerator. So rather than, you know, uh, buy a brand new one, I thought, well, I plugged it in here and it seems to work fine. Just needs cleaned up a little bit, uh, but this is a nice little size. It's got a little freezer area in it. We just haven't needed too much more than this. We don't go on long camping trips. Usually it's just... Uh, Oh, you know, just kind of weekend things, and this has always been adequate. I will build a cabinet that we, you can easily modify it if we want to go with a bigger one, but for now, that's what we're going to do. All right, this should be the bulk of what we needed. I've got a, uh, this was a Home Depot trip. I've got uh, some one by fours. I've got 10 of those. I've got a, a birch bar or birch plywood, is it? For what is smooth veneered plywood, three quarter and a half inch. I found something really cool that I was was not expecting um, and I want to do you know of course I want to carpet some of the interior panels and stuff and I found this really great indoor outdoor carpet from Home Depot that was really cheap I got this 12 foot by 12 foot piece for it was around $45 or so with the mastic and a trowel so uh, that's going to be the future also I got these uh, kind of cool um, foam panels these foam boards uh, that I'm hoping we can kind of double insulate the refrigerator so it makes it a little, doesn't have to work so hard. So once we get the cabinet built, hopefully we can kind of insert these and, and help it out a little bit. Um, another thing that's cool is they had, a, a, they had this finger jointed uh, finished, it looks like, I don't know what it is, something maple-ish. It was intended to be the top of a toolbox. And they were, I think they were only like 19 bucks a piece. And I thought this would really be great for the, the integral cutting board as well as maybe a cabinet drawer faces. I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'll build the box and I think we'll do a Formica or something on it. Anything can happen. But uh, so that was kind of a, a nice surprise. And here is the Craig jig. I just got the cheapo one. Uh, we're going to find out if that's something that's going to help with the assembly. And last but not least, the full extension drawer pulls got a couple of those too. So I'm not a cabinet maker, so please don't have very high expectations. We'll, we'll do our best. All right, let's get everything loaded and uh, start making our cuts. So those of you who are the more observant type will realize that the S-bar furnace is now in a different location. Yeah, I know. What is it they say about poor planning equals, well, I think we all know. I had to move the S-bar because our plans change and I, anyway, so here it is. It's in the back now. Where it was going to go is where the galley is going to go. So let's go take a look at that real quick. Okay, so here's where the S bar was located. It located. Fortunately, I did uh, make it kind of modular so that I could move the whole thing at one piece. So a bit, all I really had to do was extend the wiring and put uh, move the hoses. Uh, not a big deal. Okay, so what we're going to do here, when I originally laid out the seats here, we have room for a 24 inch galley, meaning there's going to be a refrigerator, uh, a big drawer on the bottom uh, for cookware and such. And the clever thing I'm going to attempt to make over here on the side off the countertop is so 24 inches of countertop, that's not very big. Uh, that's actually pretty small uh, for Mrs. W, but that's all that I have room for between the bed and the back of the seat. So what we're going to do to extend that is we're going to cut a little hole in the side and we're going to put a full extension extra counter space to almost double that that will pull out and that will lock back in so that will actually go over the bed so when we're using the bed we can close it not use it that's going to double her counter space so um, I'm going to attempt it anyway so this is what we have to deal with so we have to completely build a custom cabinet that's going to fit around all this stuff and there's a lot of figuring to do uh, before I get started on this table saw 
And a quick recap, just to the left of the cabinet, of course, we've got our magnum inverter. Uh, we've got our breaker switch for our 110, our shore power. And then I cleaned up uh, this wiring, let's focus on here, using a Blue C fuse box. So this is really, uh, really nice. I, um, I'm proud of this. Uh, so I've just mounted this on a piece of plywood. This is actually all going to be covered up inside of a box. This is the utility section where the water tank's going to be and all of that. But this is a, a Blue C, excuse me, Blue C uh, fuse a bus or whatever you call it. So you've got a big wire, like a big wire coming in here with a hot lead and a ground um, and this has two sides to it. So now I can run all my accessories off here and everything's fused right there. So that is a really nice deal. So it's only got six circuits. I'm only using two of them now um, and that should be enough. We can run the refrigerator off of one. We can run a fan off another one. Uh, it shouldn't be any, it sh should be more than I need. If, if, if we run out of space, we can add a second one or just swap this out for a 12. So no big deal. So the first piece I'm going to cut is going to be the back. That's going to be half inch plywood. This is my poor man's runoff table here. Uh, so I've got the saw set for 24. This is kind of tricky to do by yourself. Uh, but uh, that's what I, kind of what I have to do here. Not having a cabinet shop kind of forces us to, uh, well, take the rudimentary route here. So learn the offset of your saw if you're using a skill saw. You can do everything with the skill saw. Not quite as nice, but if you're careful, you can get an acceptable uh, product. So uh, get your offset, you know, here, then use a straight, something straight. Usually not anything that's real wood. You want something that's uh, finger jointed or machined that's really, really straight comes off a plane to give you a good clean edge. Okay, so this is the half inch sheet that's at the back of the galley. So we've got to notch out for two things. We've got, one is the, is the S bar, the furnace plumbing, and the second is a body uh, pillar that we need to cut out for us. So here's a little pro trip, or pro trip, pro tip. Uh, if you want to, what can help you cut straight lines is using a speed square. It's a quick and easy way to cut lines. Now these are not critical lines. This is going to be a part of the cabinet that's hidden. But what you can do is you can use it along the square, as a square edge right there. So line up your saw and use the speed square with the fence. Make sure you don't let it slide uh, to cut a nice clean line. And then we can use our jigsaw to uh, finish up the ends there. All right, let's check our fit after a couple of revisions. So the two things or, or the obstacles that we have to deal with are, of course, the, uh, the pillar, the body pillar there. And we've got our heater hoses and our wiring. And that gives that enough enough room right there. These uh, pipes, hoses are coming in contact with the wood, so we'll, we'll put some, uh, some uh, protection on that to keep that from wearing a hole. But the main thing we're looking for is does it fit? Here's our, our hard points are between uh, the bed, which ends right here. We've got a good three quarters of an inch there. We've got three quarters of an inch uh, from the seat, which is a, in its full rear reclining position. So we don't have, we don't only think touching because it's going to squeak and rub and wear stuff out. So that's just about what I figured when I put the seat in there. So that is our 24 inches uh, our cabinet. So I guess there's no reason why we can't do ahead and start building our box. Now since our front and our back are going to be, need to be exactly the same width, we want to rip both of those before we reset our saw. We have the, so they're exactly the same. So I decided to go with three quarters of an inch, <laughs> sweet low three quarters of an inch on the front uh, because a couple different reasons. I don't like to have a three quarter inch cabinet because of the weight, but this refrigerator mounts on the flange. So it the front of the flange of the refrigerator carries all of the weight. So I want a thick surface, uh, plenty of wood to, to lag that to. Not to mention the fact that we're gonna have a huge cutout for the refrigerator and a huge cutout for the, the lower drawer. So it's actually just kind of a exoskeleton anyway. So there's not gonna be that much weight to it. We're gonna cut most of it out. So. This is the hard part, ripping a three quarter inch piece by yourself, but uh, it's gotta be done.
So I do apologize, I didn't video a lot of this. I, I had to engage the old noodle. Uh, I've never built anything like this before, so um, I was afraid I was gonna make some mistakes, but I, I'm really stoked the way it turned out. Okay, so I wanna show you the cool part. So here's the problem with a little cabinet. Uh, there's not a lot of counter space right here for Mrs. Debbie to prep food on. There's only 24 inches uh, by, well, basically 24 by uh, 24. So here's what I did. I, I built this uh, custom pullout countertop, extra countertop that will go over top of the bed. Um, that's going to almost, you know, essentially double the counter space. So when, she, when she's prepping or I'm prepping, whoever's cooking, we can you know, be, ha, ha, to have an extra little spot over there uh, to put things um, is, is invaluable. And uh, what's neat about it is it will just simply open up. Uh, it's on sliders uh, over top of the bed when we're not using it. And when she's done, it's, it'll soft close uh, all by itself. So let me bring in here uh, closer and I'll show you uh, how I built this. So when I went to Home Depot, I was just gonna get some regular rails, uh, just, you know, cabinet sliders that, um, you know, I didn't think that far ahead, and, and if had, had I done that, that would have been a, been a big mistake because they're really wide. They're actually wider than this butcher block, and they would have st stuck up here proud. There would have been all that metal showing, and it really been, would have been unsightly. Uh, fortunately, there was a guy there that was really helpful, uh, kind of kind of new. I don't know if he was a cabinet maker or what he was, but he turned me on to these, uh, these sliders that go underneath. And I did have to modify them a little bit and uh, to make them work, but it's really, really good. So what's cool about it is as the, as the butcher block opens here, you can't see anything. They're tucked up underneath there um, and they soft close. So when you close it, they'll soft close all by themselves. I'll put a little face on here um, with a drawer pull uh, so she can pull it. It's very strong, they're full extension. So I got almost all of the, of the butcher block. And this was just a piece that I got of, um, that was supposed to be on top of a toolbox. It's finger jointed hardwood of some kind, but what's cool about it is it's pre-finished. So uh, it's, it's a done deal, but man, that is really nice. These are really, really strong. Uh, you could put a lot of weight on here. You could practically sit on the thing. It's so strong. And then when it's parked here, it's slow, it slowly close. And, and the nice thing about that is it won't rattle, rattle open. I've had some poorly designed cabinets that I've built in vans in the past and when you go up steep washboard roads, especially this leaning towards the back, this thing would bounce out and this won't do that now. It's actually got a lot of, a lot of resistance on it. Let me show you how I tighten the backside. So on the backside of the slider, it just had these little uh, pawls and I drilled two small holes in there and they fit in there and that's what will, will keep it from lifting up. So as she presses out here, it won't, uh, it won't lift and flip on her. And with two screws, I could take it out. So it's, it's actually pretty simple. I may have went a little bit crazy with this. So you can see the pocket screws uh, are all on the side pieces. This is three quarter and go in and I, I probably put way too many on there, but I, the thing is I was having so much fun with it. I'm like, man, well more is better, right? With everything, except for maybe salt or divorces or cancer, but, but for pocket, pocket screws, I think more is better. Here you can see the side detail on how that goes. Now, the, I had to cut this a couple times. I, I didn't realize, I had to bring these uh, sliders all, almost all the way out, recessed in about an eighth uh, for that to clear. Um, and that's fine, I don't care, because I'm gonna put, you can imagine, so I, I'm thinking what I'll do is I'm gonna put a, like a gray, dark gray charcoal for mica on this to get a nice clean look, and I'll put a drawer face on this like that with a pole on it. So that drawer face will just be just a little bit bigger uh, than the hole so you won't even see it and that will cover up this ugly bit right here so she'll I mean you can just imagine you can you can pu pull it out like that there'll be a little edge on it so th things won't get pushed off the edge and spill on the bed and voila and it'll close and finish very nicely you know kind of something like that if you could imagine it I'm gonna surprise Mrs. W with her new galley here she hasn't seen it yet all right Mrs. W come on in it's a work in progress but you get the idea Well, that's how it's got to be that deep to fit the refrigerator. Really? Yeah. Wow, it's way bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, see it's the, pretty. See the cool part? Yay! How's that? Yay! <laughs> Counter space. I love it. And it. It'll be soft close. How come you got it so smooth? How'd you do that? It came pre-finished. This was a um, a piece of finger joint 
meant to go on top of a toolbox and they were like 19 bucks. So I thought I'd use them for baby drawer faces and then we'll put a like an Ikea butcher block on there. This is awesome. You see all the pocket pocket screws? No. Joints? What, so what, I don't know what that means. I'll show you sometime. It's cool. What does that mean, pocket joints? Well, the screws go, it's a little jig and then the screws go in at an angle and it's super strong. Oh. Because end grain, it's not done yet. It's only got a couple screws in it, but you get idea. How how nice is that going to be? It'll go right over top of the bed. Really nice. I'm very proud of that. I can't believe that this is the, like we can still fit the bed in here. Yeah. It there's a three quarters of an inch here, and there's what quarter of an inch right there. It's that's all there all there's room for. Wow. It's I made it a little taller for me, so I hope it. Hope you don't mind. You you want me to wear just, heels just when we camp? Just a couple inches, a couple <laughs> inches taller. I don't have to. I, the world discriminates against tall people, so. You know what this I'm means, right? Back. You know what this means? What's that? You get to do all the cooking when we're camping. Oh, I'm I'm fine with that. <laughs> so check this out. So I'm gonna put the. Uh, we have the little refrigerator now, so we'll use that. You know, until it dies, if yeah. it dies. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put that refrigerator. I'll hold it up here as high as I can. Okay. That'll go like this mm -hmm. here. And then I'm going to put a, um, um, a cubby in there all the way in for like cutting boards and, and deep things. Oh, good. And then there'll be a full pull, a full like 24 inch drawer that will go all the way out. That'll give you a ton of storage. This is awesome. Yeah. Wow. This is really cool. So will this be a ca the countertop then? It, no, this is not big enough for the countertop, but it'll be something similar to that. Okay. I just put it there. But I mean, that's what we'll have here. It'll be a countertop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can, yeah, it's the only thing I can put there because I can't put I can't put the sink in there because of the cutting board. So we'll have to put the sink on the other side. This so, is great. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably put the uh, the cooker, mm -hmm. the cooktop mm -hmm. here. So oh, okay. uh, we'll just do something. Uh, we'll have to figure that out. But. I have an idea. Tell me if you think this is good or bad. To do some type of lip on it. So if we're traveling, things don't slide off of it, or yeah, I'm gonna do that. So okay. there's gonna be a lip on this side here, okay? Because there'll be a drawer face, so you won't push things off under the bed. Oh, good. Uh, I can't put anything on the side, mm -hmm. uh, but I can put a lip. Um, we can't put a lip all the way around it. If you I want. mean, it might be yeah, just in case. If like I have to cook when I'm traveling, if we're traveling or something. Yeah. Okay. And you know that something's gonna end up there all the time, right? A Some... book or. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Cut. This is great. I like it. I'm impressed. Nice, la nice. Uh, drawer. Where'd you get the drawer things? Home Depot. Nice. This is great. And look at all this extra room. That is key because that way you can plate the dinners. You can put out bowls yeah. if you're shredding stuff for tacos. And or... it's really strong. I mean, you could put like a, you could put a baby there if you had to wash her. I don't know if I'd put a baby there, but you, <laughs> you could put, put the baby here and <laughs> anything you need for cooking, you you can definitely put. This there. is actually gonna be really nice for like giving the baby a bath or changing her yeah put a cloth on there of course clean it off well before you use it for cooking but you know what i mean that's it well nice. next, next time the fridge Woohoo!